Hey everybody, Sarah here, and welcome back to another episode of ZJ Book It and Read. I have missed you guys so much, and I'm so happy to be back here with you all. Life has just been so crazy dealing with this pandemic, and not only do I have the pandemic to contend with, but as you can see from the eerie lighting outside my window, I have a hurricane that is getting ready to bear down on me, so oh my gosh guys <laughs> uh, hopefully I won't uh, float away with all the, the rain and the, the wind and everything but uh, in the meantime oh guys I have a great book series for you um, the book series is called the warrior chronicles it is by B KF burn and uh, I'm gonna be telling you about the first book in the series called chosen and take a look guys oh my gosh isn't that awesome Ugh. Oh my gosh, guys. This book centers around Shanti and um, all of the trials and tribulations that she goes through. Shanti has known since the age of five that her life was not her own. Uh, when she managed to save her village from a raiding party uh, that was um, under the control of an evil mastermind named Xander. And... Uh, you know, from that night, not only was Shanti in the crosshairs of this megalomaniac hell bent on not only ruling the entire land, but taking anyone with any kind of unique or special abilities and trying to um, cajole or uh, browbeat them into becoming part of his war machine. Uh, Shanti uh, has spent 20 years not only managing to avoid Xander and his many, many million minions, but um, she's also been trained by her people in uh, the various aspects of wars, from different fighting techniques to um, military and war strategy. And uh, you know, while all of her people have just had this absolute faith that Shanti is the chosen one bent that is going to lead the shadow warriors out of the land of mist and uh, free uh, the land um, and give back their freedoms which have been stolen. Shanti has serious doubts. It seems like every step she takes she is questioning whether or not um, she's the one. She just doesn't think that she's good, good enough despite um, the battles that she wins and the people that she manages to save. Um, yeah, but she, despite her doubts and her fears, she continues to put one foot in front of the other and leave her people and travel alone across the lands to try and get to the island of the land of mist to um, get the, sh the Shadow Warriors and defeat uh, Xander. Along the way, uh, Shanti um, has faced difficult conditions. She is, you know, runs out of supplies and with her load of self-doubt, she continues to put one foot in front of the other until she can't anymore and she collapses um, in a wasteland you know, dehydrated, without food, and completely alone, and she thinks she's gonna die. Lo and behold, a band of misfits um, sent on a routine patrol or near around in the borderlands around their city find Shanti, and they bring her back to the safety of their city, um, not realizing the. Um, threat and the danger that they're now putting their city in simply by her uh, being brought within their walls. Their rule, their captain, their leader, their ruler, Cayenne, he has spent um, most of his life um, not only protecting his city and its people, but in trying to do everything in his power to ensure their prosperity. So when he um, when one of his patrols brings in this um, mystery woman who is near death, uh, he has questions and he is reluctant 
to letting her leave, which is the only thing that Shanti wants to do um, without getting some answers. And, he, you know, little does he realize that, you know, the whispers of war have now become the drums of war and his city is in the crosshairs. Um, you know, he, um, he's try he's, he's trying to balance the innate curiosity that he has for this woman. He doesn't understand his connection to her or the draw that he, that she seems to, um, have with him, but he does know that he needs answers. So he's not letting her out of his sight. He's not gonna, he's not going to, um, let anything, uh, drop until he knows you know who this woman is what is she doing and why is she here in my city um, so when Xander's war machine sets its sights on Cayenne City Shanti must reveal her secrets and try and help Cayenne his army and the band of misfits uh, to save their city and their way of life um, from Zan from Xander, um, who is attacking under the guise of a local enemy, um, you know, trying to be a little bit of a Trojan horse there. So you know, it's Cayenne is left to, uh, you know, he struggles, you know, to real with really accepting who Shanti is and what she is. Um, so you know, the biggest question for him is uh, will he believe Shanti and uh, change the course of fate for not only him, but for his city as well? Or will he trade her to Xander and be the cause of the end of his city's entire way of life? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Goodreads gives this book a 3.96 out of 5. I have to give it a five out of five guys it's so good i cannot wait for you to go out and read it oh enjoy stay safe and until next time bye everybody